a global payroll vault. We are a Finnish based technology company that has an online platform that connects consumers, merchants and partners and we want our ambition is to deliver almost anything to almost anywhere in 30 minutes. We're about a 10 year old company, we're coming up this year to celebrate our 10 year anniversary and about five years ago we had 500 employees we were paying and at that point in time we realised obviously that we needed to maybe look elsewhere when it came to delivering our payroll services, our partner. So we were with an accounting firm um, who had the reach in terms of the countries we were in but they didn't necessarily have um, the expertise and they weren't a payroll specialist uh, company like ADP is. And we're now actually over to say 10,000 people so it's shown our growth has actually been even larger than we thought. So some of the problems we we're having with our old vendor was that there was things like single point of failure. So you know it worked really well with that one person but if they went on holiday or if they won the lottery for example you know then we were really in trouble. Another issue we had was um, that we couldn't actually stress test these vendors, so especially the countries where we're already at 500 headcount, uh, we, we, was, we weren't able, or the vendor wasn't able to stress test to the volumes that we needed to actually see whether their systems, people and processes could actually cope with the volumes that we had at that point in time and that we expected to grow to. So at that point in time where we had a 500 in the country we expected to double in size, we've already tripled in size. So again, it was a really good decision to move. ADP is obviously a very large organisation and it's very true in many large organisations that um, building relationships is really important and obviously that's what we want to do with our payroll vendor is become a partnership, right? So call them a, a partner. And one of the things I did was try to evolve that relationship from just having one person who was managing our account to actually creating a bit of a governance model on the ADP side. So partnering with them to help them understand what our needs are and to be fair to ADP, they listened to that and they appointed a strategic client partner. We've got now a um, you know, service delivery manager, we've got a single senior CAM managing our account and we've got a, a bit of direction, a bit of strategy in terms of who manages our account from the ADP side, not just when it comes to crisis management, but when it actually comes to just a day-to-day -day service. So we know who to turn to when something's going wrong, but also we know how things should operate on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the benefits of uh, joining forces with ADP and then using their global payroll approach is that we've now been able to accelerate our hub ambition in Budapest. So I can use my people in Budapest to run a payroll in Sweden or Kazakhstan as the processes should be exactly the same because we're using the same product. Having ADP have more consistency in their global payroll offering means that then we can then resource accordingly. So we've already been able to leverage some efficiencies of partnering with ADP, but it's going to enable us to get even more efficiencies out if we can continue on this journey together. What's exciting about being in a hypergraph company is predominantly in payroll is I'm on my toes always, me and my team are. But specifically in terms of where ADP have helped with hypergraph companies that they actually provide the security and compliance that we need. You'll see the, the bigger we grow, the more attention we're going to get, but also enables us to be more agile in terms of how we grow. If we need to onboard a high volume of people, ADP can cope with that. If we need to expand into a new country, again, ADP have either an existing partner or that we've been able to partner them to ensure that we can still meet the business needs to um, go with their live dates. If there was one tip I would give someone else about transformation is have clarity up front and ensure that that clarity includes resourcing. You know, the actual what's expected of you as a client, what's expected of the vendor as well. Get all the cards on the table and ensure that, you know, later on down the road, there's always going to be bumps when it comes to change. So the more clarity you can have at the beginning, the better that journey is going to be.